So, so far in talking about digitizing an analog signal like this, uh, we've talked about how we sample only a particular instance in time here on the x-axis or the horizontal axis. So as a reminder, for instance, here we have the sampling interval t, uh, and so we're only going to get samples at every t second, so roughly something like this, and so forth. Um, now, something you might have noticed is that here in the second sample I showed, for some reason, this picture isn't showing that I'm actually capturing the original value of the uh, of the sound wave here, but it's it's um, undershooting it a little bit. So so why is that? Um, well, that's because we haven't yet gotten to the second part of digitization, which is what are we doing with the y-axis here? So remember, the y-axis is showing the amplitude, and just like we were sampling in time, we also, so to speak, have to sample the amplitude. Um, so uh, this process is called uh, quantization, and um, the end result is that we do not have infinite precision in, in knowing exactly uh, how high or low the amplitude is when we sample at some particular time point. But instead, we're dividing it up into some sort of uh, the discrete number of levels. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight levels over the range of amplitudes covered in, in this uh, signal. So then what we end up getting is um, the following. So here in the first sampling instant we have uh, the amplitude around level 8, um, but here we don't have infinite precision so we aren't able to quite get exactly that value here um, of the amplitude and so instead we're getting that this is approximately level 7 and this is still level 7 and this is approximately level 6 this is approximately level 5 and still level 5 or approximately and and so forth so um, we're also going to lose a little bit of uh, precision here uh, um, relative to original signal so we end up getting something kind of uh, boxy which might look like this if we connect the dots and interpolate like we did uh, when we were talking about sampling in time. So this kind of uh, boxiness that's the effect of this quantization and to uh, describe the precision with which this quantization is taking place um, we describe that in terms of the number of levels so here we have 8 um, and that's called uh, the uh, quantization rate or sometimes also bit depth and um, so you might notice here that uh, yes we have eight levels but the way in which we actually express the quantization rate or bit depth is in terms of uh, powers of two so here it's saying it's three bits so why is that um, why are we going from eight levels and then calling that oh so we have quantization rate or bit depth of three bits well um, that has to do with expressing the quantization rate in terms of powers of two so note that two to the third or in other words two times two times two is eight so remember that we express the quantization rate in terms of the powers of two. So here we say eight levels, quantization rate of uh, three bits. And that has to do with because, uh, as you know, the computer stores um, information in ones and zeros.